Hey. Um, cleaning up from the last video here. Got my case back on. This video is called, He's Got Juice, How Long Will It Last Him? This video is going to be a lot shorter than the previous video, uh, mainly because this is really just me yapping a lot about procedures and things that you need to consider when using or maintaining this little guy right here, or big guy. Um, the first thing is how to plug it in. And what I'm probably going to end up doing is uh, making a, do a split screen. So over there will be a detail of me plugging in this right here. And there we go. I also want you to know a couple different things here. In my opinion, what I found is if you move your cables and other things um, as, as little as possible, not saying, you know, treat it like godly or anything like that, but the less this moves around in your house, the less this is going to get ripped or frayed or start to come untethered uh, because it doesn't take much for this to look like this, okay? They are totally different ports, but you see all this fuzzy stuff here? That's the shielding inside of the actual machine. And, you know, just like a human, and you, you hear me say that human thing a lot, but this has a layer of skin on it. And then underneath that skin is another thin layer. Then underneath that is another twisted braided shield on um, under that. And that's when you start going down into the veins. That's when you still start seeing the individual um, pieces of the wiring. Okay? So it's got a couple of layers. It's got a couple of layers before you get to the actual veins. But just like a human, this has layers on it. You know, like a piece of well, like a piece of layered candy. This has layers on it, but it's, at some point you're gonna get to the core, and those core pieces are gonna start shred, shredding and getting ripped to pieces and all the other stuff. And all that stuff that's on top is really designed to protect it. So this is my way of saying, put the cable and the wall mount by your bed, that little nightstand over there or whatever. Put it over there, or put it in one solitary place. Let it stay there. Let, make that your charging station. Because you heard me say this earlier. This thing is going to last seven hours. Maybe five hours on heavy use. But it's going to last a lot of hours. And when it's in use, it's going you know, to drink a lot of power. The cool part is, it can be recharged. You can do the whole thing all over again. The downside is, everyone complains about this here. This thing is really hard to charge. It takes forever. It takes hours to charge to 100%. I think right now it's at 100%, but for the most part, this thing takes a very long time to charge up. So it needs to charge up overnight so you can have fun with it all day long. So my advice is that the hour before you go to bed, I always tell you, you know, don't use this here before you go to bed, um, which is totally, you know, just, just don't because it keeps you up at night. You know what I'm talking about. We don't sleep that often. Neither one of us really gets a lot of sleep. Okay? 1 a.m. is a good night for me to actually go to bed. So, here's the thing. Um, put this in a single place. Pretty much let it stay there all the time. Plug it in at the end of the day. Um, let it charge up overnight. And that's pretty much it. This is, this is about just making sure that you have a dedicated place to put this here make sure that you have um the ability to always you know charge it up and if it ever starts to get shredded like that you call me you let me know i get a replacement for you i may want you to mail back the old one and um, as fast as possible because what i can do is i can have a new one coming there or you mail me the old one because i'll use your old one no problem i'll put in my traveling stuff I don't care um I just don't want you to have it because I don't want you to have like a you know a fire hazard or anything like that because that stuff is exposed wire and you know you've got an old house you don't want that kind of a situation where 
things could go awry. Um, so in review, plug this up um, overnight. Keep it charged up as long as you can. Um, don't be moving around this. Don't be moving it to the to the bedroom, to the to the laundry room, um, to the living room. Just don't do that. Just keep it in one spot. It'll be your charging station. That's all you want. We want it to be in one solid place all the freaking time, and that'll make me happy. Because the the more you do that and have it in one spot, the longer it's actually gonna last. So one cable, they only give like a one year warranty on the cables, but some of these cables that I have are actually old. They're a few years old because what I do is I don't really move them. So I bought multiple cables. I bought a cable for the office. I bought one for the bedroom. So I can just plug it in right there. I bought one for the laptop. And that's the one that gets shredded all the time. Yeah. And I think that is the last thing to review. Um, senior replacement. Blah, blah, blah. Call me. Uh, keep a charger. Yep, that is a, a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Because I did a lot of rambling. And remember, I'm rambling for you. Because, you know, you, uh, you, you probably like to hear me talk and everything. And, you know, that's that's what I'm doing here. So, I'm talking to you. And um, I'm trying my best to train you on how to use this right here. Okay. That's all I got to say about that. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.14 a.m. No one likes Alexa. She's downstairs. Alexa, why are you downstairs? Sorry, I'm not sure. See, she doesn't know.